Good evening. Good evening and welcome to Hendricks Chapel. It's great to see all of you here. My name is Annie Laver and I am assistant professor of organ and university organist here at Syracuse. And it is also my pleasure to serve as artistic director for the music and message series at Hendricks Chapel. I'd like to thank all of you for showing up here in the space for what promises, promises to be an exceptional concert. And uh, we're joined also by those uh, visiting us on our online broadcast, so welcome to you as well. As we begin, I acknowledge with respect the Onondaga Nation, fire keepers of the Haudenosaunee, the indigenous people on whose ancestral lands Syracuse University now stands. Music and Message is a weekly series that features musical performances and spoken reflection from diverse religious and spiritual perspectives. Today's program is also part of the Malmgren Concert Series, a special installment of Music and Message. I encourage you to have a look at the back of your program for the upcoming concerts on this series. Our next concert is on March 26, and it will feature sacred jazz performed by our guests, the Deanna Witkowski Trio, and our resident choir, the Hendricks Chapel Choir. So if you love to sing, and I, I gather that some of you do, uh, please come back for that performance. There'll be lots of opportunity for audience participation. But today, we welcome the Jason Max Ferdinand Singers, a group that is, without a doubt, the hottest choral group in the nation right now. Uh, last week, this group was the headliner for the National Convention of the American Choral Directors Association. And uh, I'm told by my many colleagues and the students that were there that this group brought the house down. So I think we're really in for a treat. Uh, their concert at ACDA featured a collaboration and world premiere by Jacob Collier. And they were also recently on stage with Collier and Coldplay on Saturday Night Live. So if you haven't found that clip online, you should go find it. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so you can imagine we're really honored to be able to host the Jason Max Ferdinand Singers today. This is an amazing group of talented musicians. Uh, and we're also especially proud that one of our own is among them. So I'd like to just give a shout out to Azriel Davis, who sings with this group. <laughs> Azriel is a second year graduate student in organ performance here at Syracuse, and we're really proud of him. Dr. Ferdinand will be staying on campus with us Monday and Tuesday this week to work with all of the Setnor choral ensembles and student conductors. And he will lead a combined choir of 100 plus students on the Choral Collage concert Tuesday night at 8 p.m in Setner Auditorium, and this is uh, free and open to all, so you're welcome to come back and hear more great choral music Tuesday night at eight. So we're really excited that all of our singers get to engage with and perform with Dr. Ferdinand while he's here. The program you have um, is well, he'll be telling you what is on the program tonight based on the selections that are in front of you. And uh, without further ado, I would love for you to help me welcome the Jason Max Ferdinand Singers to the stage. Thank you.
Hopefully you caught on to the last line of that text. All that inhabit this great earth are kindred and allied by birth. Is this on? Okay, I didn't think so. It's so good to be here. And, uh, <laughs> chick, chick, chick. Try one more. Ah, there we go. Sound. All that inhabit this great earth are kindred and allied by birth. It's so wonderful to be here at Syracuse University. And so thankful that you came out to enjoy some live, live music. Do you have programs? So you probably already noticed that I'm not following it, right? Okay. <laughs> awesome. And probably remain that way. Um, I want to go now to a very, very famous Negro spiritual and very simple setting and you'll hear a very, very gorgeous voice coming at you, the voice of Miss Andrea Keene Williams.
amazing voice. Gosh, James. Um, on piano, we have, in my mind, um, undoubtedly one of the um, greatest musicians to walk the planet. John Storrett is pianist, uh, pipe organist, songwriter, singer. He does everything. Um, and last week we premiered this setting of John, um, another Negro spiritual clothed in a concerto type of performance. So it featured piano, choir, and orchestra, and we did with just piano and choir today. But this is a setting of Soon I Will Be Done with the Troubles of the World, I'm Going Home to Live with God.
So you hear a lot of voices coming at you there. Uh, this is Dr. Roderick George. Roderick, raise your hand. <laughs> Thomas Allen. <laughs> Angelo Johnson. <laughs> and this is Carl from Baltimore. Uh, and singing that little part for the first time, she was over there freaking out. That's Malia. <laughs> I'm going to bring forward now another voice. I think this space is very, very conducive to, to 
this setting and this spiritual which you recognize so well. Can we welcome Mark Simons?
Simons, uh, another young man that we are very, very proud of. Um, I, I met him before he was in high school, I believe, and he eventually studied with me at Oakwood University and sang in my choir, and then he came to you all. And Azrael is here finishing up his master's in organ performance. I'm going to ask him to go to the piano right now. Azrael, could you go to the piano? I'm going to call Roderick. Can, can you come? Yeah. And um, Azrael is going to accompany Roderick in this, this setting.
awesome stuff. So I'm going to stay right there. I'm going to, can we turn this mic up just like four decibels? Um, I'm going to bring forward now Thomas Allen, who is the current winner of the Sarah Vaughan Vocal Jazz Competition. Yeah, that's awesome. And, and the first male to ever do so. And that's why I need this mic turned up just a little bit. And um, he's going to come now and sing a very, very popular song that I think he knows so well. Thomas Allen. Could you welcome him? I know, right? Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I know. Look at me. I'm as helpless as a kid in a tree. And I feel I'm clinging to a cloud I can't understand. I get Misty, just holding your hand. Walk my way, and a thousand violins begin to play. Or it might be the sound of your hello, the music I hear. I get misty the moment you're near. You can say that you're leaving. And that's just what I want you to do. Don't you notice how hopelessly I'm lost? That's why I'm full of you. On my own, should I wander through, through this wonderland alone? Never know where my right foot from my left, my hands from my glove, I get misty. And too much in love, much in love. Too misty. And too. What is happening right now? <laughs> All right, what are we doing here? Uh, <laughs> um, wow. Uh, John, give me a G, G major. Wait, wait. 
So the range of that piece is standing over there to my left. And for those of you who are hip to things in the 80s, he was part of that group that broke all sorts of records in 1987, 1988. Which year was it? 80? Oh, he wasn't. OK, yeah. No, he's <laughs> this, <laughs> this is the original member of the group Take Six, Dr. Cedric Dent. I'm going to ask Cedric to go over to the piano now and, and play whatever is on his heart. But this is a, a multi Grammy winner, y'all. This is serious stuff right here. All right, let's do it.
hopefully you've had as much fun as I've had this evening. And, um, yeah. and thank you so much to those of you who organized this event for us to come and share our music. Cedric just played that song, Precious Lord, Take My Hand. And you know who that was written by, right? Thomas Dorsey, the father of gospel music. And he wrote it to commemorate, as it were, a very, very sad occasion. He was on the road at a conference, and he got word that there was complications with his wife's uh, delivery and lost, was it the baby and the wife? He lost both of them. And he went back home and went through some serious depression. And that song was a result of that. And um, I, I think I want to stay right there. Another more contemporary setting written by a rock and roller. And um, he so eloquently just says, when he lost his mother, a human heart, all I have is my human heart. And we sang this a few weeks ago, about a month ago, on, on SNL, Saturday Night Live with Coldplay. And um, I went back after and, and researched why he wrote this song, and it just means so much more. Could, could we just teach it to you real quick? Sure. You, you promise you're going to sing back? Okay. All right. Don't, don't leave me up here hanging. Yeah? So jump on what? E flat? Here's the part I need for you to learn. My human. hear them sing it. I think you know it. Sing it out louder. A human. One more time. A human heart. Only a human heart. I wish it didn't run. I wish it didn't run away. I wish it didn't fall apart. I wish it didn't fall apart. Oh, my human heart. 
night and day, light and dark. Night and day, light and dark. Any day could be torn. Any day could be torn. In half. Yeah, they got it. Only God a human. Could you stand to your feet and sing with us? Everybody singing, a human and a human. Thank you so much for having us. And if we never see you again, stay safe, stay connected, stay well. We love you so much. We mean that from the bottom of our hearts. I wish it didn't fall apart. Oh. Sing with us, a human. My human heart. Night and day. Night and day. Only God, a human heart. One last time, a human heart as a God. My human heart. 